for support logistics. So this video is going to explain the process of unboxing the VR unit out of the shipping container and also how to properly store the unit when not in service. So this is how the VR should be packed when you open it from the case. You should have the control module, which is the solid metal with the steering knob, the control handles. You should have the VR Oculus. And then your laptop and dead man plate and all other cables are packed underneath. So let's get busy unboxing this unit. So what you want to do is, you want to grab one hand here on the bottom side and then grab the steering knob. Do not grab the reach controls. So you lift up, kind of wedging it out, sit it on the edge so that you can properly handle it again. And then what you're going to do is pick it up and sit it on your table. You always want to slide the control module in. And then you have these little brackets right here. And so that's where you push it all the way in, making sure it's flush, and then crank them down. And they should be as tight as you can get them. This secures it to the table. And then once you're done putting the control module on the table, then you will grab the Oculus case, sit it to the side for right now, because your next step is to grab the dead man plate. The dead man plate is located right there underneath the control module. Once you have the dead man out of the box, take the time now to attach the ethernet cable to it. And then once it is attached, grab both sides of the dead man. You want to place the dead man solid on the floor. Take the supplied ethernet cable around to the back side. And it gets plugged in to the back of the control module. Once that is complete, then you will properly stand on the dead man, make sure it is aligned where it needs to be to feel comfortable for the user. The next step is to grab the laptop out of the case. After you have placed the laptop on the table, then proceed to get all of the cable cords. So all of the cords to power the machine should be located in the corner of the shipping container. Once all the cables are out of the shipping container, make sure you have two USB cords, one laptop power module, and one control power module. Once you have ensured that you have all the supplied cables and cords, then proceed to hook them all up. Once you have plugged in all the required cords, ensure that they are plugged into the correct locations. Your control module power supply should be plugged in here, right next to the tag, your two USB into the back of the control modules, and your ethernet cord which powers the dead man into the control module. And then on your laptop, one USB on one side that goes to the control module, a USB in the middle, and then also the power supply for the control. Now we will unbox the Oculus Rift headset. Pull the tab up. Inside the box you should have two Oculus controls, one Oculus headset, so first, pull out the control handles. You will need this later, so set them aside. Then you want to grab the Oculus headset out of the box. Once you have the Oculus out of the box, you should be left with only two cords. So one cord goes into the side of the laptop. Then the other cord goes right into this back small slot. And so that completes the setup of the physical hardware. You have the Oculus headset with controllers, one laptop, all your cords plugged in to any available USB ports. Currently the program uses all USB ports on the laptop. Also if you're going to set up a separate monitor your HDMI cord goes into this slot right here. Then you have the control module with power supply here, two USBs, an Ethernet cord. Then you have your power supply for your laptop 
and the power supply for your control module plugged into the surge protector. So when it's time for you to shut down the machine and pack it back up in the box, start with the cords first. Unplug everything from the laptop, power supply, USBs, anything plugged into the laptop. And then start with the control module, unplugging the power supply, all the supplied USBs, the ethernet cable, and then you want to work your way over to the surge protector, turn everything off, unplug everything. And then once all your cords are wrapped up, then you'll take them all and put them back in the case. Let's see where they go. All of your cords should fit neatly inside the box inside the case. Once you have the cords in the case, then you should put the dead man plate in the bottom. It should fit nicely in the grooves. Next, after the cables and the dead man are in the case, then you put the supplied laptop in its place. Now it's time for the, probably the most complicated part of the storage process. The control module slides into two preset grooves, and so it must go in there exactly how, how I place it. So grab it, sit it on the corner so you can gather yourself, grab the steering knob and this back plate, find your grooves, and allow it to just slide down in there. So what you should be left with is the forklift center logo facing up and the control handle like this. Basically as if you were standing in front of it. Next, place the Oculus back in its box with the controllers just like that and the headset like that. Make sure the cable is wound inside the headset. That way it can close the box very easily. And now the Oculus should slide right in the corner of the case. So what you have is cables down below, laptop bottom left, dead man plate on the right, control module fit into the grooves, and the Oculus case in the bottom right hand corner.